Meanwhile, a five-year-old girl from El Paso died in Colorado Springs, and now her mother and her mother's boyfriend have been arrested in connection to her death. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live from our newsroom tonight. And Shelby, you spoke with the little girl's father, who still lives in El Paso, and understandably just devastated by all of this. Yeah, Emily Canal says a father does still live here in El Paso, and we spoke with him after that news came out of Emily's mother and her boyfriend being arrested for first-degree murder, and her father saying things have been tough ever since Emily died back in January. Now go ahead and take a look. You can see photos of Emily. Affidavits show that Emily died from numerous blunt force injuries. Her mother, Brianna Scamilla, was arrested last week, and her boyfriend, Matthew Urias, at the end of June. Now affidavits say that Back on January 13th, the fire department responded and attempted to resuscitate Emily, but she was later pronounced dead at the Children's Hospital in Colorado. Now, Emily's father still lives in El Paso and says he never expected something like this would happen, but was concerned about the environment the of the household where Emily lived. I told everybody that she was in a, in a violent uh, um, environment. Um, I pled with them, you know, I, to help me. I'll help them, you know, whatever. And they, they just didn't, they just didn't care. Or, or, I don't know. Emily's father, Manuel Canales, says it took him a long time, but he was finally able to bring Emily's body back to El Paso, and he had a funeral for her here last week. Now, Emily's father does say that her mother took her to Colorado in 2021, and he was only seeing her on holidays. We'll have more from him coming up on KTSM 9 News at 10. Live from the newsroom, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.